welcome back to Gabino Games and it's time for another top tier Guardian 3 Siege Battle. And today it's like the finals because we are battling. We got Goat. And then of course we got Candy House. Both of which are uh, the previous what legend guilds in the Siege Battle Tournament. And we are coming from H and H. Probably the best guild in the Asia server. <laughs> no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Much love to our guildies and leaders here at H and H. And without further ado, let's go straight to the action. We're going one versus one against Candy House, and we're hitting the LD towers. We got the original Wushi who loves to walk in the snow. Ah oh, man, I've, I hope we translated that correctly. With the Molverk. Next up, we got Billy with Ophelia, Annabelle, and Amber. All right, there they go. Next up, we got Cool Dudu with the Nana, Dominic, and Fran. All right, and now hitting Pooh, we got here Kep with the Theo, Wusa, and that's a Diaz. Check it out right now. Yeah, it's really interesting to see all this happening, mainly because you know Theo Marsh is there. And that's good damage coming from this Theo. Right? Okay. Not much damage coming from the Karkana because it's a Diaz. Okay. Yeah. This Diaz, I must say, is well built. Now, without the Narsha. Right? Yeah, they're just gonna keep hitting onto the Dia. So this offense is pretty good, I must say. Oh man, and the crazy procs from the Theo for the finish. OP Kep. So good to see Theo in action. Next time we're more from Candy House, and it's a Chandra. We got Chung with uh, Douglas, Molly, and Kinky. Okay, next up we got Gino with the Jean, Annabelle, and that's a Leo. Next up we got the False Light and Dark Bringer with the Louise, Tessa, and Verna. Alright, and we got Yeya with the Camilla. Checking out Camilla here. That's a Camilla Lulu with the chilling against this crazy defense. Yeah, uh, basically. Lulu should be able to tank this, right? The damage coming from the Sperna is going to be tanked by the Windy. So, yeah, interesting to see. Not much heals coming from the Perna, right? But at the same time, they do have the speed lead coming from the Chandra. So, there's no Leo. You can't defense break the Windy, right? And they do have destroy runes, so they are slowly destroying the health of this Chandra over here. Yeah, it seems like it's winning. Yeah, I feel like this team you can just auto, right? Um, but it might be a bit dangerous if the defense break goes onto the Lulu. Yeah, not damage coming from the team. Um, who's on destroy? I'm guessing the Chandra is on the is the one on destroy, right? See, if that defense break goes to the Lulu and then say if the Lulu is, I don't know, killed here. But by the looks of it, yeah, just destroying the health of the Chandra. Because again, it's a water, water, wind unit, right? So Windy is able to tank all of this. No destroy runes on the Perna, that's why... Um, the Windy is able to tank it, but say if the destroy runes are on the Perna, it might be a different story. Although it's good to see Camilla back in action, right? Ever since she got buffed. I feel like once this Chandra is down, it's going to be easy to already burst down, say the Perna. Because you do have a lot of destroy runes anyway. Yeah. I mean, not the fastest team, but I must say it is very safe, especially the fact that the Camilla has a, uh, what do you call it, a freeze now. 
Look at the health of the poor Tundra. Yeah. They are able to, uh, what do you call this, out turn the team. But yeah, be very careful if you're going to use that team. OP, yeah, yeah. All right. Our turn to attack. And we do have red 10 marked right here. It's starting off with a Tian Lang, Theo, and Molly. We're going to bring in our Galleon with our Christina. I'm thinking we can take out and change the Triana first. Um, yeah, basically so that we can take the first turn with our Chloe and put Invincibility. Let's go, G Unit. G Unit. G Unit. All right, so Chloe will take the first turn. Why is the Theo kind of slow? I don't know, but with all those buffs, he was able to... Oh man, really? Honestly? Three buffs on the Galleon and you were able to strip and reduce the attack bar on the Galleon. That's not good. Um, let's go time to loot. Okay, just don't don't proc out of it. Wow. Oh man, this Tian Lang though. Seriously? Oh man. What is happening? <laughs> yeah, without the Galleon. I feel like there's going to be a GG. Oh man. Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> oh man, I mean, what kind of RNG is this? Okay, well, we're gonna hit it again. Okay, this time we're going to bring in our Lucian, but with the Jamai and the Light Homunculus. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go Thunder Break. No Nemesis except on the Molly, right? So let's go. We're going to reset that. Fast pace again. Okay, attack power but on to dilution and amputation. Okay, nice. Oh man, but the RNG from the Tian Lang though. I mean honestly. That's why Tian Lang is all over the siege battle defenses. Well, all defenses in general always have a Tian Lang because Tian Lang is just so OP. Okay, hitting the Tian Lang with the Nora, and this time that's a Water Hollowberry cookie. We're going to bring in our Diaz to tank the Hollowberry cookie and, of course, the Tian Lang. Now, this time around, bringing in some minus water artifacts. Okay. We brought in minus water because the main damage dealer is going to be the water hollyberry cookie. Ah, oh. yeah. First to kill should be the Tian Lang, because Tian Lang just is Tian Lang, <laughs> right? Okay, that's a good defense break. Oh man. Okay, let's go. Nice suit. Man, so many dots coming from the Nora. Come on, Diaz. Thank it. Come on, can we get a heal block? Okay, nice Valen Brock. Uh, three versus two, but this is not yet over. Yeah, because again, there's a Water Hollyberry Cookie. Uh, let's work on the Hollyberry Cookie first. Because every time we hit onto the Nora, right, we're going to keep getting uh, continuous damage effects. So let's see. Okay, good damage coming from our Dominic here, and at the same time. Whoa. Oh man, that parry though, huh? Okay, okay, let's go heal that. Oh no, the defense break. Okay, a little bit of heal. Almost done here. Okay, nice too. 
Defense break, please. Nice. Put up immunity and attack power buff. And we just heal our Diaz here for safety. And it, we're pretty good. Okay, nice too. Man. <laughs> How many LD units? I mean, and meta too. Oh, okay, we got here the Dark Eivor. Let's see. Because there's a Dark Eivor, and he is a attack bar buffer, right? I'm thinking... Narsha, slow her down with a Leo, right? So what's a better, or what's the best offense that you can use than a Jean, Leo, and a Helena, right? For the Leo, we're going to bring minus artifacts. And right now we have fire. Okay, for the Jean, we're going to bring in um, minus fire is fine also, and minus fire on the Helena is fine as well. Okay. Yeah, because we have Leo and we're going to work on the Narsha first. Because she's just very dangerous. Ah oh, man, see what I mean? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta CC, bro. We gotta cleanse that. Okay. Let's go, Helena. Oh man, so dangerous. Almost snipes one of our units. Uh, can we get a stun here? No stun, but we will dismount her. Okay, man. If the Narsha procked a violent there, it would have been a different story altogether. But so far, looking good. Yeah, because RNG, right? Okay. Eivor is left. And there he goes. Man, what a crazy unit. Okay, yeah, I, I, we did get some feedback of bringing in, say, like a double will Leo. And if you have that, you can use it against those teams for sure. Okay, we got one more defense. Oh, no, two more defenses. Okay, we got here Brook. We're going to Poseidon this one. <laughs> this one's for you, brother. <laughs> Yeah, Brook totally hates this offense. So let's go with the changes. Oh, this is gonna be clutch. Defense breaks, please. Nice, Sue. Reduce attack bars, or else we're going to be GG'd. On the Theo, that's fine because we still have our Tiana. Okay, let's go kill. Oh no, is your Ophelia gonna go crazy here? Oh no, the counter. Alright. Four bases down. Um, but unfortunately, I saw one of our guildies flag the one defense. Um, we got Miracle with the Water Hollyberry Cookie Lulu, and that's a Leo. Nice too. We got more of Tian Lang. Let's go bring in our Light Chun Li. We're going to kick it. What's with the Theo? I think it's part of their build. I don't know, man. Um, Violent Revenge. Yeah, because this is the second tower we attacked. And the Theo is kind of slow. Yeah, as long as we get rid of the Tian Long, should be fine. I don't know. Maybe they both have... <laughs> I don't know. They want Tian Long power. Is it... <laughs> okay, well... Onwards to the next defense, then. Oh, we got a Nigong. Nigong, Water Hollyberry Cookie, and that's a Cadiz. Oh man, this defense is so OP. Uh, especially, you got heals coming and revives, right? Coming from this Nigong over here. And of course, the Cadiz. Yeah, if you're gonna build a Cadiz, build him like a Lauren, like a speed HP. Or defense or whatever. You know, because he's just going to strip and reduce attack bars. Right? But he does put on branding. And that can be very dangerous. So, for our Aliyah, we're going to change up the artifact. Um, we're going to put in some minus water artifacts on her. 
right? Because we're expecting a lot of damage coming from the water hollyberry cookie. We changed the artifact on the fungian to do additional damage to light. So hopefully that works. Let's see. Because Molly's going to be tanking the Cadiz. So. Okay, they are a bit slow. Oh no. Okay, well. Let's go heal up. And start working on this Nigo. Right? As long as we don't get defense break from this uh, water hole berry cookie. Let's just call her Mama. Okay, the water mama. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. So far, so good. Okay, just put branding on the Molly so you just keep hitting her. Okay, we're getting procs. Every time that happens, I'm kind of worried because, again, the offense may also get all those procs. But she's totally parrying us right now. And that's not good. Let's see. Okay. Stop with the parry, bro. Okay, okay. Molly able to tank so far. Come on. Will this kill? Nice. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, can we cleanse? Nice, now we work on this Cadiz. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, working on the Cadiz, let's see. You know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Um, yeah, I expect this Cadiz to be um, a bit squishier than the water mama, so we'll work on this Cadiz. Oh no, Violent! Not you, me. Oh, he goes for revenge and the additional turn. Oh no. Uh oh, here we go. Let's put up immunity. Um, come on, we have to kill. Yeah, even if we put up the counter there, he's just gonna keep reducing attack bars, right? And he's gonna strip, so... Okay, here's our chance. Okay, let's go Fong in. Yeah, keep working on the Aliyah, that's fine. Come on. Oh man, the violent turns keep coming. Kill this <laughs> Cadiz. Okay, come on, man. Strips both. <laughs> oh no. Come on, you gotta kill, bro. No kill! And the violet rock. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. I don't. Ugh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Basically, two versus three does. Okay, anyway. Well, they did is destroy a lot of health on the Molly. <laughs> you know what? I have this crazy idea right now. Um, Let's go try for the cleave. Let's cleave it with the Mirene, Dova, and Lucian. Don't do this at home, guys. This is going to be very dangerous because this is Candy House with the HP lead. <laughs> okay, let's go. Application magic. Oh, almost. Oh, no. Well, good thing it's still the start of the season. <laughs> I'm not going to do that <laughs> during the Siege Bout tournament. Uh, but, damn. Well, we got cool doo-doo with a cleave here. Yeah, let's see. The Bastet goes. Oh, nice kill on the Nigong. Oh, but parried though. Oh, good thing the Cadiz goes for the Bastet there. Yeah, I, I feel that this Cadiz has really good minus wind 
artifacts. Yeah, mainly because earlier, uh, what shall I call it? Yeah, he totally tanked the Feng Yen, right? And also tanked our Lucian. Okay, we're left with one tower here. We got a Tian Lang with a Cadiz and a Water Mama. Um, every time I see Water Mama, the yeah, technically this offense doesn't or this defense doesn't have a heal, so we can bring in our Bulwark Emilia together with the Mo Long, right? Whatever the Cadiz hits or whatever, <laughs> whichever the Cadiz, the Cadiz, the Cadiz hits. All right, we should be good. Uh, we're bringing in minus water just to make sure we're safe against this water holiday cookie. Okay, let's test it out. We will snipe the Cadiz first. So that's fine, I can do whatever. Just don't proc too much, please. Don't kill. Okay, now we're going to cleanse that because we don't want a defense break. We're going to heal up. I'm thinking again, kill the Cadiz first because we do need the buffs coming from this Water Holy Berry cookie. It's just going to be a bit dangerous if this Reckless Assault misses. Okay, good thing we didn't miss. Okay, at this point, even if they kill the Molly or the Molong, they don't have a Molly so they don't have heals. Right? Um, but at the same time, we're not going to cleanse that because we need to survive the Hollyberry cookie, right? And we need a cleanse for our Bulwark at this point in time. And hopefully, we get more buffs from this Water Mama. Okay, nice. So that then now... Wow, how many turns, bro? We gotta freeze. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, get more turns. <laughs> okay, we're gonna heal up. Now we can kill this Tian Lang. We'll be getting a lot of buffs coming from this Water Hollyberry cookie. Yeah, sure, sure. And we can heal up again. Right? Yeah, we had to sacrifice the Molong. So that we could cleanse that. Steal a buff. No steal buffing. Or no stealing of buff. But again, there is no heal on the Water Hollyberry cookie. Okay, can we freeze? That's a clutch freeze, and yeah, we're pretty good. Totally had to sacrifice the Mo Long. Okay, and there goes the defense. And of course, yep, there goes the base. We are on our last attack, and we have here a Chandra Zen, and that's a Perna. We're going to bring in our Luis, Perna, and this time, Theomars. Yeah, let's see this Zen go. Okay, it doesn't go... Wow, three turns for the Perna. No defense break coming from the Zen, so that's good. Let's go kill the Zen then. Defense break, and then can we kill with the Perna? 30k, nice too. Okay, without the Zen, it's pretty good. Um, the Chandra's is just gonna keep focusing on our Perna, and then the Perna's gonna keep focusing on our beautiful Louise. Yeah, um, wow. The LND defenses are so far really good, you know. This defense right here, well, a bit RNG, uh, especially the Zen, right? But it's good that the Zen does strip. Alright. Three versus one against the Pernod, there's no way. I mean, even if you kill our Luis, bro, with all your procs, bro. <laughs> I don't think you can solo us, bro. You're not there now. <laughs> but Perna, still one of the best monsters out there. Alright, and OP Candy House defenses. That's the last of our attacks for this top tier Guardian 3 Siege battle. Let's go wait for the results. Well, that's a GG well played to go to Candy House and to our guildies here at H&H. We got 184 crystals and 95 guild points. Yeah, good thing. Um, hopefully we don't meet these guys towards the end of the season. We've met Candy House twice already, yo. 
Okay, we got a chance for one shiny and we didn't get it though. What do we get? Okay, purple box. I don't know, no speed selling that. We got 50 crystals. Let's check out what our guildies got here. Yeah, LD pieces. Oh wait. Yeah, more light and dark. More crystals. And wow. This is one good box, guys. You got a legend with an innate substat with a light and dark scroll. There's a tian lang in that one. Now going back to the nine year transcendence scroll. Yeah, again, thank you to everyone who replied to our previous video. I totally appreciate it. Yeah, we're totally choosing um, the water Eivor versus the water Ezio, right? And to your point, yeah, Ezio is kind of, he's okay, um, useful, right? Especially because he has the, uh, what do you call this, the strip. Um, but at the same time, they increase in attack bars with the ally, highest attack bar, and then the attack power, right? So generally, you should be teaming him up with someone like a Gemini, but he has to be faster than the Gemini, but he has a slow base speed, right? So he can maybe cleave somebody. Um, but yeah, the distraction is okay, um, but it's not offensive, right? It's kind of defensive. Whereas the strip is offensive, right? You need to bring in an offense team around a strip. Um, but yeah, right now, compared to the Water Eivor, where she does have this OP passive, right? Increases stats. It's probably, uh, what do we, how do we say? Um, uh, elemental version of, say, the Dark. Paladin, also known as the Leona, right? Where she has that internal passive that generally makes her more OP. <laughs> yeah, more attack monsters, better. I've seen her being built around speed, crit damage, or no, speed, like uh, attack HP, or a mix of both. I like the way she says, my destiny is too weak. <laughs> no, no, no. My destiny is mine to weep, right? Um, so yeah, stand by for the upcoming um, exclusive summonings that we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, mainly we'll be going for the second round, this one, either Annabelle or the Belladion or the... Yeah, that guy, Belenus. No, that, that's not... Is that Belenus? Yeah, please leave us a comment which one you want us to go for and we'll be ready for that one. Alright, and again, watch out for more content coming up for the Water A4. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great week ahead and may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, I just... I like the light over again. <laughs> there you go.